in the second example of a type 3 electrolytic cell, we have an impure plate of zinc as the anode. The impurities are the blue dots. And we have a pure rod of zinc as the cathode on the right side, the negatively charged electrode. Uh, both electrodes are dipped into a solution containing zinc ions. Here we have dissolved zinc nitrate in water. And when you click on the switch, you close the circuit, and the DC power supply begins to force the non-spontaneous reaction. When the switch is closed, a zinc atom is oxidized at the anode on the left, and two electrons travel through the wire over to the cathode at the right. Finally, a zinc ion receives those two electrons as it is reduced and it will add mass to that zinc electrode. Now, what's happened here is that the zinc which was combined with impurities at the anode is now pure zinc on a pure zinc rod at the cathode. 